This video is not satire. This video is not an exaggeration. Vegans literally ruin the lives of children and babies. Even in modern society, we're seeing child cancer rates go up. We're seeing infant mortality go up. We're seeing various degenerative diseases get worse. And I believe these are attributed to the lack of fat soluble vitamins and bodybuilding nutrients in our diet. A vegan diet makes this even more drastic. You know, even people on a standard American diet eating meat, 99% of them, I mean, if not all of them, don't get adequate amounts of fat soluble vitamins in their diet. When you go vegan and you remove those animal foods that might be giving you that nutrition, it makes it 10 times worse. In this video, we're gonna go over actual instances of vegans killing children. We're gonna briefly touch on plant versus animal forms of vitamins. And then we're gonna talk a lot about why it's important and how much the vitamin content of breast milk varies based off the diet of the mother. And then we'll actually watch a video on what a vegan mother is feeding her child. So this is total pregnancy mortality in the United States from 1987 to 2014. It actually went up almost threefold over the course of 25 years, which is insane. You know, if people knew these statistics, I mean, I mean, things would, I mean, you know, things would be getting a little bit crazy. They'd really start questioning things. Here we have childhood cancer from 1975 to 2015. Not as drastic of an increase, but from 13 to 19.2 is almost 30% of an increase in childhood cancer rates. So definitely not something to fret about. So things are clearly getting worse here. I have a video titled, Meat is Better for You Than Vegetables. It goes over why animal foods have better, more bioavailable sources of vitamins and why in most cases with plant foods, you can't even get these vitamins. The importance of fat soluble vitamins is an understatement and I've talked about them on various live streams and past videos in the context of Weston Price, proper facial development. If you guys want a bigger picture, I have another video, Attractiveness is Determined by Diet, and I go over the facial structure of various peoples, and it's a pretty good introduction to just overall human development in general, and if you really want to question the importance of fat soluble vitamins, this video is a good place to start, and then reading Weston Price's book, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration, will give you an understanding of the importance of these vitamins. If we can establish that these vitamins are important and the sole basis of our health, then we have to prove why do they matter in the context of childhood nutrition. This study shows that breast milk in women varied from 0.05 to 0.73%. That is insane. What is that? Like, that's 15 to 20 times more DHA in the breast milk? This literally says the development of the child, the brain development of the child depends on the diet of the mother. It is crazy. Same thing with vitamin A. Infants whose mothers had breast milk, vitamin A concentrations of over 1.4, uh, I think that's nanomilliliters per liter, had higher serum retinal concentrations than those infants whose mothers had breast milk, vitamin A concentrations below this cutoff value. We look at the same thing for B vitamins. The B vitamin content varies uh, anywhere from twofold, depending on the vitamin, from inland, coastal, rural, it, it all varies. All of this stuff matters. You see as the milk matures, the mother loses vitamins, showing that maybe the mother could have had fat soluble vitamin stores from just years and years and years and how just having one child depletes it. We used to have 10, 15 children. That was not, that was a very common occurrence. 50, 75 years ago, families were much larger and people weren't having problems having all these children. Uh, here's another example of just overall nutrient content. And here it said that the vitamin, uh, right here, we found significant differences between one, two, and three collected within a feeding for some of the vitamins analyzed. Vitamin A, vitamin E, diamond, riboflavin, B vitamins, and fat were heavily affected by, you know, invariance between the diets of these people. And, and this study just goes over the vitamin D levels in women and the, how it relates directly to the vitamin D concentration of breast milk. So it's very safe to say that the diet of the mother and the nutrient density of the mother's diet correlates directly with the nutrition of the breast milk and how healthy the child will be. And this is just a, another article stating, 
are breastfed infants vitamin K deficient. And vitamin K2 is really only obtained from high quality animal foods or various fermented foods such as natto. And most people don't eat enough of any of these foods, you know, unless you literally eat cheese every day or high quality cheese every day. So this is just me showing most breast milk and most humans are deficient in vitamin K at least to adequately feed a child. And someone commented on my video the other day, Native Americans would literally stop hunting animals to hunt bear because they believe bear would give more nutrients to nursing mothers, couples trying to conceive. They believed in certain foods, the highest quality animal foods, salmon roe, uh, fish liver needed to be eaten when trying to conceive in order to have an optimally healthy baby. Not only were animal foods necessary for the health of the child, it literally had to be the highest quality animal foods to be in optimal health. And these were fed to the male trying to conceive, the woman, the pregnant woman, the nursing woman. These were who these vitamins were prized and fed to. So these are just a couple articles. And guys, I will link everything in the comments. Judge convicts parents after baby dies from vegan diet. Read through these. I don't really want to touch on these too much. Baby lacked fundamental nutrients, worsening his unrelated congenital heart condition, but the couple refused to follow doctor's orders and diversifies food. Malnourished baby dies after parents fed him insanely strict vegan diet. The seven-month-old baby weighed just 9.47 pounds when he died in 2014, which is half the size of the average baby his age. Vegan breastfeeding kills babies. Vegan breastfeeding has caused an 11-month-old baby to die and the parents are charged with neglect after an autopsy indicated the baby suffered from severe deficiencies in vitamin B12 and vitamin A. An Italian baby raised on a vegan diet is hospitalized for severe malnutrition and is removed from parents. So, guys, this is not me. This is very, very serious. This is not, you know, this is not hypothetical. This is not speculative. This is happening. 100%. So I had to change the video that I critiqued here. I got a DM on Instagram. Hey, you just did a video. It's causing people to target and harass my wife. Some people are being threatening and it's making us fear for the safety of our children. I understand you are entitled to your opinion and to share it, but please do not criticize anyone else's parenting in the process. We have done our research and are aware of every nutrient you mentioned and make sure our son gets it either naturally or through fortification. Please take your video down ASAP. Uh, I... You know, they didn't, sh I mean, I think that's just, he just wants me to take the video down. I'm going to honor his request to do so, but I guess I have to critique a different, uh, I don't know if I should critique a different video. I will. Uh, it's probably not going to tie in with the summary of this video, but I just wanted to respect the wishes of the parent and the respect for their family. So I am removing the segment of this video where I critiqued their child uh, who's having very obvious facial problems just developmental physical problems and they were feeding him very ridiculous things from tofu to processed foods to no real significant vitamin content in the diet just a lot of sugar so we're looking at another one I guess I haven't seen this one before you might love to grab it. oh thank you so much Today I'm sharing how and what I feed my baby on a plant-based diet. This has been my most requested video and I'm excited to share it with you. So my son is nearly 10 months now and he started eating food here and there around 7 months. It's very important not to start introducing food until the like, baby's gut is properly sealed. So every indigenous group breastfed for a minimum of 2 years. You could look up various other length of times that infants are breastfed, but it's a minimum of two years in indigenous groups. Some were way longer than that. Um, and there are a few things that can help you know whether or not they're ready. If they can sit up unassisted, if they have the pincher grasp down, and if they're at least six months of age. Now obviously there's no way to know for sure if it's safe to start, so my rule of thumb is just to wait that extra month just in case. Um, and I hadn't actually planned on even starting at seven months, but Phineas was so eager to eat food before he was even six months. So I held off as long as I could and ended up, ended up starting at seven months. Because it was getting to the point where we couldn't even eat around him. He would get so upset if he couldn't have any food. Maybe your breast milk wasn't nutrient dense enough. You ever th consider that? Maybe he wasn't getting what he wanted. And side note, I know that if you're watching this video, you probably already know this, but for the love of your child's health and well-being, please do not give your four-month-old rice cereal. Um, it absolutely blows my mind. 
that doctors are still recommending that babies eat rice cereal. I mean, it is just insanity. You're essentially just getting your baby addicted to chemically processed food at a very young age. So just don't do it. Um, I do think that in a way, food before one is just for fun. She's talking negatively saying doctors shouldn't be telling you to. What about, did you listen like about anyone telling you not to put your child on a vegan diet because it's lacking key nutrients? These people are crazy. And the majority of their nutrition should be coming from mom's breast milk. But it's a great learning and exploration for them of tastes and textures. And it's a great opportunity to give them some incredible nutrients and whole food supplements as well. What nutrients are you getting in these whole food supplements? Oh, you probably don't know off the top of your head. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I feed him both purees and finger foods. Um, in the morning, we usually start out with our smoothie, and I'll just set a little aside for Finn, add whatever supplement he needs to take, and I'll spoon feed him a small amount while, we'll, while we are drinking ours. Um, our smoothies contain a variety of things. Besides the base of greens, fruit, and nut milk, there's usually some hemp or chia seeds in there, spirulina, chlorella, all sorts of superfoods. <laughs> um, this green powder is my favorite. Oh, now, my God. The company and the ingredients. She just said don't feed your child processed rice cereal and she gives her baby a concoction of vegan anti-nutrients supplements formulas how oh my god this is not real this is not real and i don't really want to go into the paper versus actual bioavailability of nutrients anymore into this video but this is classic chronometer warrior she thinks she sees these vitamins on paper that's what her baby's digesting is she not noticing that her baby is shitting out whole pieces of vegetables and starch or whatever she's giving it ingredients are amazing but because it tastes so good early grass wheat grass parsley juice alfalfa chlorella spirulina aloe vera kale asparagus watercress dandelion greens broccoli sprouts beetroot powder green papaya carob i mean guys this stuff is awesome it's awesome how do you think they put that much shit into one pill tell me they have to dehydrate it. They have to, maybe they deodorize it. Maybe they bleach it. Maybe they press it. It's processed drastically. So you're a little hypocritical. You're saying processed foods. And this is again, paper value. You really think all of that stuff is in there? And even if it is, there's no fat in this. You can't absorb the nutrients without fat. I also make sure that he has a dose of probiotics every day. I slacked on this for the first bit of his life. And now I'm realizing how crucial it is to the overall giving a baby probiotics this is not this is nuts i gotta see if this is like well, not this lady's just to be putting good bacteria into our body um, we use flourish living liquid probiotic i'm completely in love with this product and so much so that i actually have just started representing them um, because i was already recommending this so much it was a no-brainer to make this move and so if you guys actually use the consultant link that i post below it will benefit our family so thanks Holy in advance shit. for checking that out. I cannot believe um, this. This product is superior to every other probiotic out there because it is formulated naturally and kept in its liquid state. Other probiotics are grown in the liquid and then each strain is separated out and then freeze dried. Um, there's all sorts of problems that can occur in the body using the freeze dried method. It can only be two to 70% effective. So you're basically taking a gamble. Um, Flourish is 100% effective because the strains are grown in harmony with each other and have not taken out of, they're not taken out of their liquid prebiotic in which they were formed. So they're able to get past your stomach acid with no issues. The interesting thing to touch on probiotics is mother's milk fed to a child is supposed to be natural probiotics. The foods the mother is eating in her diet day to day are given to the child through the breast milk. You know, gut bacteria is a very complex process that happens through early stages of life and development. And it's it's a very natural thing that happens with through breastfeeding, through introducing what foods are in the environment to the child. This is very far from that. This is a modern science kind of laboratory experiment that we don't know anything about. I do a variety of purees. And the reason I do this is because it's a way to give him raw food that he can't chew, like beets, celery, And he can't digest beans, either. Cucumber. Um, here I'm doing some raw beets, banana, and chia seeds. Raw beets, banana, I mean, what is there, some vitamin C and sugar in there? And then in the chia seeds, those seeds are for birds, guys. 
birds can digest seeds and not even I, I think some birds even just shit them out too like we do you know you don't absorb the nutrients from seeds the only thing you can really do is you can get flaxseed oil you can get chia seed oil and if you consume it in large amounts uh, you'll probably shit your brains out and it'll be so inflammatory you won't be able to do it but that's the only way to actually get a, any semblance of uh, omega-3s or any sort of vitamins because the nutrients in those foods are so bound to anti-nutrients as well as just the bioavailability and the conversion rate in the body is so low. The baby's not getting anything from this besides sugar. I just make a small batch and then put them in little jars to freeze and use throughout the next couple of weeks. I'll do simple things like avocados with some Celtic salt. A lot of people give their baby plain food, but I figure why not give them a true taste for the foods that they'll be eating for the rest of their life. And it's also another chance to get some important trace minerals into their body. Um, this salt is my favorite, it's the best, and I'm not one who can really detect subtleties in flavors, but it tastes so much better than any other sea salt that I've ever had. Most of the time, he'll just eat some of whatever we are eating. Avocado on paper looks good. You know, there's vitamin E, vitamin K, uh, good fats, but it's the same principle with other plant foods where, although it looks good on paper, the actual digestion is drastically different you know the high fiber the sorbitol i believe you know there's some sort of plant sugar in avocados that make them hard to digest it's just he's having some pea soup here he'll eat pretty much anything and he's never spit anything out before yeah so the gist of it is i just like to give them fresh fruits and vegetables um, a variety of them and uh, some added supplements here and there I'll either bring something small for him or he just has little bits of curries and salad and to eat if they're constantly no need to over um, he too much he just has little bits of so the, the guys this wasn't nearly as hard to watch as the other video uh, for those of you that have seen it I was very upset at the end of the other one and had to stop watching it but let's look at uh, the lips and the lower face development she said her son was 10 months old right so here's a pretty good example. You know, what you kind of want to see in a baby is, uh, you know, pretty good wide face development, wide lips, kind of, you know, chubby face, but not like uh, he looks almost bloated and inflamed in a sense. Like if we look at these other pictures of 10 month old babies, uh, and guys, this is just, just Google 10 month old babies. You know, they don't look as bloated. They have much wider mouths, much different lower facial development especially this child, you know, uh, and lower face development, bone structure, all of the, the bone structure of the face is all determined by diet and having adequate nutrition in the diet. Uh, you know, I guess one of the best references for this is Weston Price, where he studied the faces of uh, various indigenous groups, and we saw drastic differences in skull, and, you know, you, you can compare how these babies look compared to other babies. It is drastically different. Uh, I'm sorry I had to redo this, guys. Uh, I, you know, I, I just, you know, feel like in the long run, although that, you know, that this video might be really popular and the other version of it was way better, um, I'm just going to have to to deal with this right now. So uh, I'm going to let the video roll as it was. I just removed the segment of me critiquing it. So I think you're going to hear a critique and my opinions on uh, the previous video that we critiqued. Uh, you know, you know, when I when I walk when I walk down the street and when I see people that are unhealthy, that are unhappy, um, you know, that, that makes me sad. When I see children that will have problems for the rest of their lives and will likely have severe problems that will ruin their lives, I just I can't I can't watch it, I can't deal with it, I really can't guys. The the nutrient content of this child's diet is not adequate in any sense. Uh, I can't blame this woman. The you know the conventional wisdom around fruits and vegetables being healthy and the sole source of nutrition is literally killing people. This child is not the only child that will suffer. I'm sure his life is actually better than a, a lot of other people on this planet. But uh, you know, if you guys would like to share this video, if you guys would like to support me, that's the best thing you could do. Uh, you know, I'm going to link plenty of resources in the comments and the description here. I know a lot of things I said were blanket statements and very broad, but I'm going to literally link 15 to 20 links in the description where you can explore this further and where I'm coming from with these ideas. 
Uh, I'm not going to link the original channel for this video. I don't want you guys harassing them. I don't want you posting on their video. There's hundreds of vegan children videos on YouTube you can post on. You don't just have to isolate this one. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to reach out to me for consulting or support in regards to your diet, maybe just have a few questions, just shoot me an email. Uh, I'll try to respond as fast as I can. And if you guys would like to see any videos in the future, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know what you guys are looking for.